back with another video as you can probably see by the title i'm just going to show y'all how i make my wigs and just what i do because i this is the wig that i have on like my valentine's day vlog and that week in the life and the clean with me or whatever and i got a lot of questions like how do you make your wigs what do you use wig caps all of that so i'm just going to show y'all how i make my wigs um, y'all know I like my videos to be vlog style, so I'm going to take y'all with me to actually get the products because I need a wig head because that wasn't mine. That was my friend's wig head, and I need a, um, another wig cap, and while I'm out, I'm just going to get me something to eat because I am home for spring break. Today's Monday the 4th, I think, yeah, so I'm just going to do that but i was gonna film this video anyway but it just so happened that this video is in collaboration with beauty forever hair i'm so excited y'all i'm literally so excited to have like my first collaboration with a hair company they sent me three bundles and a closure of their brazilian body wave an 18 inch closure a 20 a 22 and a 24 of their brazilian body waves bundles i'm gonna link it down below so y'all can you know get the hair and i'm gonna actually show y'all i just got it this morning so before i go out of town for spring break i want to go ahead and get this video done i was gonna like i said i was gonna do it anyway but i wanted to get it done and film for y'all um so i'm just gonna show y'all how i make the wig i'm actually not going to be wearing the wig yet because i'm getting braids for spring break but after spring break, I'll show y'all how I style it, how I wear it. And I'll talk to y'all all about the hair afterwards. And plus, once I get home to make the wig, y'all can see like my first impressions of the wig. So let's go to the beauty supply store and get the stuff first. I just made it to the beauty supply store and I'm walking in now. Too many options. I think I'm gonna get this one go. I'm gonna get this one. I don't know what color braids are. This is bright. You look like I'm gonna cash out at the dango beauty supply. And I really, it's really just this braiding hair that I had to get, but I'll show y'all all of that when I get when I get home. So we are here and I'm about to show you guys what I got from Beauty Forever. This is just the box it came in. Um, on the back you have hair care, basically how do you take care of your hair, basic stuff to do, their service. It comes with your shipping label and everything that you got. You do get some lashes and these are like, they look like they're going to be um, close to like a wispy type lash. And then you have your bundles. I did open it of course already, but like I told y'all, I got three bundles and a closure. I got three Brazilian body wave bundles along with a 18 inch Brazilian closure. Um, this is how you tell like what kind of hair you got, Brazilian, and then that number right there, 18 inch. At a glance, when I first look at the hair, it's like a natural brown color. I don't really like black hair, but yeah, this hair is just a natural brown. And look at that body wave, y'all. And when you run your fingers through tangles, I have one piece of hair, but it's fine. And the lace is like a natural brown. I usually don't tint the lace or bleach my knot, so I should be okay. And it looks like any other closure that I've had and the knots look fine. So this is the 22, like I said, the number is on the bottom right there. And y'all, this hair is soft. Like I wish, <laughs> could y'all see that? Yes. I wish y'all could feel how soft the hair is. The wefts are pretty thick. But yeah, this is a 24. It's very long. The wig that I made that y'all see, that is a 22. So this will be the longest hair I've ever had. But if this is me, it's mm, it's gonna it's gonna be about the same. This is the um 
length where it stops on me but and then at the front it's like right here on my side and then this is the 20. so this is all the hair of course i'm going to do the longest at the bottom but it's very very thick i'm going to put all three bundles in if y'all were wondering this is the braided hair i did go with it's 1bm so that means it's just black mixed in with red um i'll show y'all y'all will see my braids because i'm going to vlog the rest of my spring break i've just not done anything special thus far but this is just the color i did go with if y'all wanted to see that i showed i told y'all i would show y'all what i got and then as far as far as wig heads goes it's just a regular styrofoam wig head for my beauty supply that was like 2.99 and it also comes with a little hole at the bottom if you want to put it on the stand i choose not to and y'all already saw the wig cap that i got so i just use like regular needle and thread so i'm gonna show you guys how to thread your needle so in the needle you have a little hole right there i lick the thread like that and then just slide it through um hopefully y'all can see that and i just take it all the way down i usually do like a length the, i hope y'all can see this the length of my arm and then i cut it and then you're gonna tie a knot on the end i put my thumb finger wrap it around and then hopefully y'all can still see but this is how i hold my wig head um i don't like the stand or at least i've never tried it so when it comes to sewing on the wig this is the elastic band this from here all the way down is the elastic band you never want to sew on the elastic band just because this is what keeps your wig stretchy and what keeps your wig on the head so you never want to sew on the elastic band if you do make sure you only take are taking your needle through that first layer of the elastic band meaning that you only go through the first layer you don't go through the elastic band nor do you go through the back you can go completely through the wig cap when you get to on this and basically everything else except the elastic band but let me stop talking and get to sewing so when you sew the closure i just pull it up all the way to the front and i'm going to line it up with those two lines that i told y'all about and then i'm just going to start basically sewing from here um i'm going to recommend to tie the hair up or use t-pins which a lot of people use i don't think it's necessary to use those so i just so remember going through only that first layer when you're sewing on the elastic band which is what i'm doing right now and with my closure i make sure to stitch it really close together so that my closure will lay as flat as possible you will see me sew one side then tie it off also remember to tie it off and make a knot at the end which you're going to see me do in not a, in a little while and then i'm going to switch to the other side this just helped me keep my closure length as flat as possible because if you sew one side one side one side and then once you get all the way to the other side it's going to be cricket this is me tying it off i just take it through in a loop and I like press it down and tie it off if that makes sense i hope it does and then i'm going to do the other side and the back as well and then i'm just going to meet it at where i stopped at right here now beauty forever is a company off of amazon based in china but i did want to say one thing that this hair shipped to me very quickly not just because this is sponsored by them or they sent me the hair to do a collaboration but i also have heard good things from my friends and other youtubers who have ordered hair from them so i do totally recommend this hair if you need some hair in like three days it comes really really quick the hair is very soft and it's very high quality this is my first hair that i've gotten off of aliexpress personally but a lot of my friends whose hair that i've done they've purchased hair from aliexpress and beauty forever as well and the hair is actually great quality but this is you see me going on the other side also going through only on that first layer and then the rest is just going to be regular stitching 
So like I said, I'm just going to finish sewing and I'm going to sew it all the way around just so you guys can see how I um, sew my closure. And then I'm going to eventually put it in a ponytail so I can get the bag. And I did like a knot at the end. Y'all going to see I end up tangling it, but it actually did okay. And then I'm going to finish on the closure and then that is just the product of sewing and then i'm gonna do the first bundle i had to pull it and see how long it was to see which one was the 24 and then i'm gonna start sewing that in as you can see me taking the hair out i originally thought that was a scrunchie under the pink thing but it ended up just being like a little like they cut the scrunchie in half and just wrapped it around there and so the hair is very secure when you first get it and then I started sewing it in. I always sew it in like behind where your ears would be so that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. That's just how I do it when I sew my natural hair, like sew it in on my head. So that's what I figure to do when I do my wigs. I do start and put the needle through the weft the very first time just so it'll be secure. And I use two needles, but of course, if you have more needles, the faster you can go because you don't have to keep going through and rethreading the needles. And uh, when I start the bundles, the other bundles, I go from closure to closure. But on this first one, I do the ears. And this is just me showing you my flip over method. I literally flip the hair over and just like slow it down as flat as possible. And basically, all of this rest is self-explanatory because it's me just sewing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in my next one. So after um, sewing the 24-inch on, this is just what it looks like. I um, try to keep it in the back just to maintain as much length as possible from the wig. I got three tracks, so like one, two, three rows of hair, which is more than I normally receive. So this hair is pretty thick. The webs are nice. And I like the curl pattern. It looks more like of a deep wave of what I'm used to. But I'm just going to sew the rest of the bundles on. And I'm not really going to talk that much because I don't think people want to see that. But I'm going to sew the rest of the bundles on and show y'all what this wig looks like. So I'm officially done sewing. Um, this is how much I had left. I just probably would add another track of some random hair that I had um, back in school. So once you're done with the wig, you flip it over, right? So when you flip it over, you're going to be able to see where your closure is. And you should be able to stick your hand through because I didn't sew the front and you don't want to sew the front. You see your stitches along where um, your closure is, and you're just gonna take some scissors, cutting everything, including the elastic band, and you just cut around all of that, making sure not to cut the thread, because then your stitches will unravel and then your closure will no longer be attached. So I, I stay like maybe a centimeter away from the thread and I just cut, 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 cut. And now that's gonna allow you to see that scalp up under your um, wig. I look really crusty, but I would just like to thank Beauty Forever for sending me this hair, like I said. And the, in um, a few videos later, I'm going to actually show you guys how I style it and get it all nice. But yeah, stay tuned if you would like to see that video and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.